This is Noah Cunin, Senior Political Correspondent for The Uptake, and you're watching ReCapital, our recap of what's going on at the Minnesota Capitol. At least that's what we're calling it right now. Here at The Uptake, we pride ourselves on audience interaction, so if you have any suggestions on what we should call this thing or what the recap should cover, be sure to reply to us on Twitter. That's at UptakeMN. As for suggestions on the name, you have until the end of session or until we come up with a fancy opening full of 3D graphics, whichever comes first. The emphasis today, April 30th, 2009, was on the omnibus energy bill in the House. Specifically, whether or not the House would join the Senate in lifting the moratorium on new nuclear power plants in Minnesota. Members, it is time, 40 years... 40 years with our head in the sand, 40 years preventing the discussion, 40 years not talking about how we get it done, but throwing up barriers about how it can't be done. The issue here is waste, and we, the reason we have this moratorium in place is because after the, prairie, the legislature addressed the Prairie Island issue, we had no solution. So we put a moratorium on because there's still no solution 16 years later. The Obama administration said we're not going to continue funding Yucca Mountain, an inadequate place anyway, hydrologically and geologically. And so we hear about advancements in technology, but we haven't solved the issue of waste. A million year radioactive toxic legacy. Many supporters of lifting the moratorium on both sides of the aisle cited France as the model Minnesota should pursue. They derive more than 80 percent of their energy from nuclear power. Representative Gail Kulik-Jackson, first-term DFLer, responded thusly. France's nuclear power industry is heavily government subsidized, and yet the cost of their electricity is twice that uh, as it is for we here in Minnesota. France does not recycle all of its nuclear waste. It recycles 1 percent. And in doing so, discharges so much contaminated water into the English Channel that France is currently being challenged by 11 other countries. In the U.S., the nuclear energy industry currently owes the U.S. government and has defaulted on $125 billion in loans. The nuclear in industry cannot afford its own liability insurance. The amendment to lift the moratorium failed by a mere 12 votes while the omnibus energy bill as a whole passed by a wide margin. You've been watching Recapital for April 30th, 2009. Stay tuned to the uptake for continuing live coverage, recaps, and analysis on the Minnesota legislature throughout the day.